Hey Lupus family, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to give yourself your Benlista auto injection. Your Benlista is gonna arrive in the mail from a specialty pharmacy. It's gonna be in this big box with all this insulation and a bunch of ice packs. And you'll have these individual boxes that look just like this. You're gonna open it. Come on, work with me here. You're gonna open the box and there's all your auto injectors. So, you're gonna take one out 30 minutes before your injection. Always do this every single time. When you're ready to inject, you're gonna wash your hands, take it out of the package, obviously. <laughs> You're going to take an alcohol wipe and you're going to wipe the area that you plan on injecting in. Now, the injection mm -hmm. sites are in a U shape under like the belly button area, but two inches away from the belly button. So it's going to be in a U shape like this, but two inches away from the belly button. And this upper thigh area here, okay? So, when you're ready to inject, you're going to take this off, and at a 90 degree angle, you're going to go in like this and press down, just straight down. If you're doing it in the belly button, or uh, in that area around your belly button, same thing. So, you're gonna hold it there, you're gonna push down, you're gonna hear a click, you're gonna hold it down until you hear the second click and definitely wait a good few seconds after you hear that second click because after that second click, there's still some medication coming out for a few seconds. This does burn, I'm not gonna lie, it does. Now, some people say it hurts less near the belly button area. Uh, for me, it just hurts more there, so I prefer the thigh area. Every time you inject, you have to do it in a different injection site, so you have to rotate. So eventually, you will have to do it there. It is what it is, but uh, it does take a minute, and it does burn, I'm not going to lie to you. But you're probably going to start feeling a lot better soon, and... You know, the last step when you're done is to take your sharps container and put this and the cap, don't recap, in your sharps container. And that's it, guys. I'm actually not able to do my injection today like I was supposed to because I'm on antibiotics. I had a nasty upper respiratory infection, and I have to wait until I'm done with the course of antibiotics before I can do my next injection. I will be doing a follow up video where I actually give myself the injection. I'll show you guys that, um, just so that you can see it. Also, just a little side note, I did find out about that supplement that helps with seborrheic dermatitis. I don't know if any of you have also had this seborrheic dermatitis issue after taking Benlista. Let me know in the comment section, but it is caprylic acid. It's about 11 bucks, you can get it on Amazon. Um, I think it's 600 milligrams a day that you take twice. Now, I know that this does have some effect on the immune system, so I'm not 100% sure if it is safe for us to take, but I will be ordering it and doing a review on that. I mean, I could probably call my rheumatologist and see if it would be safe for me to take. I probably will do that, but that will be a follow-up video. I will let you guys know if it works because it is coming back with a vengeance and I'm having none of it. That's how to give yourself the Benlista auto injector at home. I hope that this helps. And let me know in the comment section how you guys are doing with the home injection. If you're new here, please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be uploading videos now every weekend. I just wanted to give you guys at least a certain time every week that new videos 
will be uploaded. So the only reason that didn't happen this weekend is because I was really sick. I'm off all my immune suppressants and I'm just not feeling good. Um, but barring any disasters like me being sick, videos will now be uploaded every weekend. Thank you to all my current subscribers. Thank you for all your love and support, your likes, and I just, I really appreciate it. And it helps me to get this information that other people might really need out there. So massive thank you.